Hey there, e-bike fans. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Rock Bros Rear Rack Bag. This is one of those investments I should have bought the first day I got my bike. It's made my ride so much more enjoyable since getting it. I'll explain all the details about the bag, how it works, and why I love it so much. But don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below on what you think about the bag. I love to hear your comments. I will see you guys in the video. All right, so here we have the Rock Bros bag is attached to the bike right now and it's attached really solidly where I can actually lift the bike up with this here. And I want to show that only because it's super easy to go ahead and put this onto the bike. It takes less than actually a minute to do it and do it. And the reason why I have two bikes here, so one, you can see what it looks like on Electric XP and then also what it looks like on my Bolton Blackbird here. This bag actually works really well, whether you're gonna go on high performance type, even off-road trailing because it attaches so well but also because it protects your stuff and it looks good too. I mean, that's another thing. This is a really, really nice looking bag. I'll get some close up shots that you'll be able to see, put it on the screen here. But I also want to show you the size and what it actually holds and, and why I think this is probably the one accessory I should have gotten a long time ago. I, I just didn't actually really, honestly, I didn't want to spring the money for it. I mean, it was at the time or even right now, I believe it's over a hundred dollars. But you know, because of Prime Day, there was a $15 discount and they run coupons a lot. So you might actually be able to still get it for almost the same price as I got it for. And it's worth it, in my opinion. I mean, the way that this whole thing is put together. I just love this bag so much. And again, I, sh I should have got it a long time ago. I don't like wearing backpacks. And because I need to take the bikes out, take some camera equipment with me, take enough stuff to film, it ends up being that this bag can hold all the stuff I really need to do the filming that I want to do outdoors. Now, I'm going to bring out all this stuff. That's why I have the tray here so you can see kind of what I've shoved in here and then I'll get an overhead view so you can see it. My microphones, people with, this is my cell phone. It also comes with a strap and I'll talk about this strap a little later. Selfie stick, tripod that can go actually my action camera. And of course there is actually bike equipment in here as well. This is my pump, some more actual pieces. This is my GPS. The other thing that this comes with is actually a rain cover. This comes in the box with it. And it actually covers it all the way here. Let me, I'm gonna show this actually covering with it fully extended to its full potential. So this is all the stuff that I had in the, the bag here, this part. Okay, and on top of that, it also comes with dividers so that you can Velcro dividers to the side of the bag itself. And that will be able to give you an idea of kind of, it's made like a camera bag, really. I think what it is is that they took a camera bag design, added some paneers on the side, cushioned it like a camera bag so it can carry your camera equipment if you're gonna do any filming. But it's, you know, if you think about it, if it can carry a camera safely, it's gonna protect your stuff safely. So the other thing about this bag too is, okay, so once that's all full, then where do I put like my jacket and my other things? Well, I also like this too. There's a Velcro that's in here that attaches to the side. And that way it uses the cover to protect anything from going into uh, the wheel, between the wheel and the actual side of the rack. The other thing is, let's go ahead and bring the camera closer so you can now take a look at the inside and also the other side of the pannier. So this is the inside of the bag itself. And as you can see, the dividers I just put up there, you can just Velcro, Velcro and push these down. I just lay them down, but this is, like I said, you keep, make divide, divisions of any sort so that you can keep it very open uh, or divided, either way. You know, there's a lot of space in here. This bottom is also padded as well with extra padding. Okay, so that's actually, it's pretty deep. I mean, it's a hand width deep. And then of course, here's the pannier bag on this side. And there is another one on the other side. I like that it's also double zippered. But, so you have two pannier bags on both sides there. All right, so you have your other side of the bag here. If I open this up, Stick my hand in, it pushes it out, and there's just a reflective stretch out that actually shows so you can be better visibly seen. And the size of this, you have a jacket that needs to be put in there, and this is a pretty small jacket, but it can fit a really thick hoodie. So I shove this jacket in, and it's only half full. You know, there's still a lot of room here to go in and put more stuff in and shove in. So you can put like, your extra clothes, leave this in. And what I was talking about, if this bag is already splash proof, you know, it's already made with this kind of a hard shell. It looks like carbon fiber design. I mean, that's just the look, but it has that, it is uh, more of a plastic type material, not necessarily a nylon style. That's why it's kind of shiny. But this bag cover is made 
so that you can cover the paneers at the same time, not just the bag itself. It goes over all the way and the paneers are completely covered. Now this light does not come with it, but they designed it so that you can easily stick on a clip-on light because there's a little loop here specifically for that. Stick on your light here. And because a lot of times people's bikes, the bags will cover if their lights are back here, it'll cover it. And then you can just, you know, have a, a light showing on the back side of your bike still. They thought of a lot of stuff. I mean, Rock Brothers has been around for quite a while and they make some really great bags. Again, they also use more on the expensive side. So I decided, didn't think I needed one, but I just got annoyed with backpacks. It's just too, too bulky. I don't like stuff on me, too hot. And then I just thought, well, I saw a good deal and decided to pull the trigger on it. And I'm so glad. And like I said, the reason why I'm doing this review is because I honestly think that I should have got this a long time ago, definitely. But that being said, they do have a cheaper one. So I will have that there. The prices seem to fluctuate quite a bit, but I believe the cheaper one started at around $80. And then of course there's coupons and discounts that they have on Amazon. I'll have the link below. The link in there is an affiliate link. So just a disclaimer, if you do happen to make a purchase using my link, I do get some compensation for it and I appreciate the support from the channel. It doesn't cost you anything more to use it. Anyway, so that goes in here. If you want to see it, actually even the jacket is big. I mean, this pocket is big enough for the jacket to easily fit and squeeze in more stuff. So it can fit a 52 volt uh, high long looking or the, what do they call it? The, the shark style looking battery. It can actually fit that in here. And that was one of the main reasons I wanted to make sure that I got this particular one that could fit that because my Blackbird has two batteries and I can carry one safely. I mean, if this can carry a camera, it does have all the extra padding and protection I need. This is not all. If you need a little bit more space, it also has, like those luggages, an extra like four inches. It can give you angled up on the backside here. I mean, this is brilliant. Oh, and of course, it also has a water bottle pocket in the back. This is a, the Arizona iced tea, I don't know how much is this, 23 ounces. There is space for those of you who drink vitamin water, you got a perspective of it. Let me show you how fast it is to remove. So if you, you know, go to the market and you don't want to leave this on your bike, you can easily just take it off on this side here. I have my straps already on this part. You just take off the strap, reach under, pull it out. It'll unhook. Again, two. This one here is another strap. It'll unhook. And then there's two straps in the front, which I will show you as soon as these come off like that and boom, your bag is off. So these two straps in the front, just hook to the front of the rack, put up there and that's it. And that is tight enough where I could lift the bike up. Now, again, I said it also came with a strap. So at that point, you're gonna go right and run into the store, clip it up. or you know, if you're going to work with this and you need to carry lunch, this is, I wouldn't say it's insulated for it, but it can hold it and you can carry it like a camera bag on a shoulder strap because even this is very comfortable. And now let me go ahead and show how fast it is to put on. Same thing, All right? I'm gonna put it on this, the Blackbird now. Put it here. I'm gonna go ahead and just loop this to the front of the rack, the front, the front straps. Okay, and then the strap that was on the back side, you just feed it through here underneath. There's a loop. Pull it again through there and this one here same thing feed it through here there's a loop make sure it goes to the outside of the rack and then up there and with this as well you can lift the whole bike up because it's so well strapped in and it doesn't move that much i mean if i need to tighten the front i could do that but it won't it's, I mean, like I said, I mean, I can lift the whole bike and it has all the stuff in it. It's so awesome. So this is my review of the Rock Brothers bag. I personally just think this is part of my bike, but it's so easy to take on and off that I can pop between one and the other. And of course, extra water bottle. One other thing I forgot to mention is it also has uh, this stretchy type bungee material type cord. So if I ever wanted to go film and needed something longer that won't fit, I actually have now, if I wanted to, I could actually stick it through here. There's actually a little netted area here that I could tug this in. There's other straps here and there. If you think $100 is expensive, I mean, it is for a bag, but the bag that comes with everything is water resistant just the way it is. You have that water, I mean, the whole rain cover that keeps it dry as well. Everything, I mean, that's really cool. This is the ultimate accessory that again, 
I think top of my list exactly what I'm talking about as a great bag or accessory that uh, I don't say is a must have because you a lot of people might ride without it but if you want an accessory bag that's really cool highly recommend this one again Rock Brothers does actually have a, a lesser cheaper version that doesn't have this more plastic hardcover style it's more of a material I don't think that's going to be as water resistant probably comes with the cover though but I'm not sure uh, I'm glad I bought this one well worth the investment it's going to last a while I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you guys actually enjoy this kind of more accessory videos. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all your support. Hope uh, you guys found this helpful and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.